Hi there, my name is Nirufar and I am one of the co-founders of the NomNom.tj project based here in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. Let me tell you a little more about the project. During a four-day bootcamp sponsored by UNICEF and UNDP, our team identified a social problem um, regarding women, married women, um, in the age range of 18 to 25, being deprived of freedom career-wise. So it means that um, they are not allowed to work for different reasons. And our team uh, thought that the solution for this problem would be providing them with opportunity to work without leaving their homes and still being able to make money. We decided to build a, so to say, bridge to connect both women who want to cook uh, and the people who value homemade food. So we started brainstorming on how and where to find all interested parties, specifically those women who really need this help. Um, after some observation and research to identify the demand, uh, we decided to create a survey both for women who want to work with us and people who would be interested in buying homemade food. So we distributed the surveys via social media, specifically Facebook groups that are really popular among local uh, target groups that we needed. We received uh, positive feedback from both sides. There were quite a few women who wanted to work with us and um, as well as people who wanted to order something. Um, that's when we decided and we were sure that we have to launch the project. Uh, and that's how it all started, basically. So we reached out to the respondents of the survey and did some negotiating, and now we're working with them. The next step was to actually create the platform um, for placement of homemade food. Um, the website was developed within several weeks, and right now uh, we're proud that uh, the website is fully uh, working, and anyone from Dushanbe can place an order. That being said, let me explain uh, the process a little more in details. So once someone places an order, we receive an email notification about it um, with all the details, including the amount, the time and date, including contact information along with the address. The next step is to call the person who just placed the order to confirm everything. Then we call the housewife to inform her about the order. We are collaborating with a local delivery service agency and once the order is ready, they make sure the order is delivered to the client on time. We offer two payment options. First one is cash and the second one via e-wallet. In terms of challenges, our team thinks that startups and challenges are on the same pathway. So we did face quite a few along the journey so far, but the main one though would probably be the fact that we had to merge three different parties to work as one team. Um, I mean the women who cook, the people who order the food from them and the delivery system. Bringing them all together took some time, effort, and constant communication. Up to this moment, we had about 12 orders and counting. Our team believes that this project can make a huge impact on the society in the long run. And our main aspiration is to put all the efforts to automate it to the best possible degree and make it work more efficiently.